You two what it do, man. It is your boy Abdul up next and I'm back with another video today. And the title of this video today is, is crazy. Actually, it's not crazy. It's called the seven levels of nicotine addiction. Now, the reason I'm bringing this video, bro, I just thought it would be pretty good to react to because I know we got some little nicotine fiends in there. Y'all be in middle school, high school. Yo, we just about to go to the bathroom, pass around this nicotine vape. Y'all put y'all saliva on there, kiss each other. Y'all basically kiss each other. You know what I'm saying? You pass around the vape, each person in a circle y'all kiss each other y'all put your lips on it you don't know where the dude lips been but y'all do it because you just you just excited to do it oh oh we're doing it we're so brave we're so no no you know what i'm saying by the time you get 30 your lung is gonna collapse what you gonna say then by the time you get 30 you got lung cancer by the time you get 30 you sound like you've been smoking cigarettes all your life and you mean to tell me that you're gonna do that for 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 some little mango yo i like the little mango peach fuzz ice yo the blue bl the blue raspberry ice pass it around then if you got a girl that vape don't ask her to quit vaping for you bro she gonna choose that vape over you every time every time you ever seen a girl like just hold their vape with them everywhere they go like damn we at the grocery store trying to get some groceries and you got the vape in your hand still Still! You know what I'm saying? Don't ask your girlfriend to choose you over that vape because she's not going to do it. Then don't try to take her vape. Do not try to take a female's vape. That girl is going to go from a regular Barbie doll to damn King Kong in the span of a second. She going to power up like she Yu-Gi-Oh or something. You done made her mad. Oh, she lose her vape. She going to flip a whole she going to flip a whole bed before she walk out without it. Ah! 3 2 one. The video starts with the guy saying, I started smoking when I was 13. Huh? <laughs> 13? What age are y'all? Let me know in the comment section right now. 13? What was I doing when I was in 13? I was in 7th grade. Yeah, I was still bringing my WWE action figure to school. I was still going over my friend's house and doing the moves they said don't try at home. You know what I'm saying? I was still rocking with Ben 10. I was on Cartoon Network, Amazing World of Gumball, and regular show was lit at that time. Facts! Hey, hit the like button if you rock, watch Cartoon Network. Let's go. The seven levels of nicotine addiction. So let's jump right into this. So you're chilling at school, you go to the bathroom, and you see a couple of guys in there, you know, hitting some vapes. Or this is the worst. When I go into the bathroom, I don't want to see nobody there. You know what I'm saying? It's so awkward. It's so awkward, bro. Especially if you're that type of person that isn't talking to everybody. So look, you go into the bathroom, and you see four... Four people just standing there, bro. Like, bro, I'm confused. There's three stalls right here. There's three urinals right here. But y'all not in either? Then, if it really comes to it, they will group up in the stall. Two men. Two men will go meet to meet in the stall to pass a vape. And then, bro, it's so many things. The only time I want y'all to call me into a bathroom is when there's a fight. When there's a fight, bro, I'll go in the bathroom, pull out my... I might just hit the vape if it means y'all niggas gonna swing. I ain't gonna lie. I'll do anything to see y'all niggas swing. I ain't gonna lie. I want to see some action. So I go into the bathroom. I'll get straight to instigating. I seen the craziest instigation in ninth grade, bro. I seen the craziest. I seen the craziest. I, I, I'll, I'll play the video and we'll talk about it then. Shit, doing whatever the fuck they're doing in the bathroom. And one of them walks up to you like, hey, yo, bro, you want to rip this shit? Now, if you're anything like me, you're going to say yes to this question. So you start ripping this guy's shit and you realize as you're hitting it, wow, this is disgusting. Why does it taste like this? Because the other dude's whole saliva ain't brush his teeth in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Bro probably ain't brushed his teeth in years. He's musty. He does not know what a shower looks like. And the main reason for it is because this guy had it for three months. So you exhale the vape, hand it back to the guy, and you're like, wow, I feel dizzy as fuck. Who would like this? And as you say that to yourself, you're like, damn, I kind of like this. Congratulations, you have gone through the steps of stage one. So eventually, you're going to work up the- Uh, uh, as a man who has smoked before, the first time I smoked, I never wanted to do it again. Bro, I almost passed out that day. I should honestly do a story time. Bro, I got into the car with my mans and hot boxed. And I damn near, I thought I was going to die, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was like, God, God, please. God, please, if you let me just feel normal after this, I will never come and do this again. 
And then it had me saying dumb shit. That's the thing. All you motherfuckers do is smoke and start saying dumb shit. I started smoking. I'm like, yo, bro, I could really direct the movie, bro. Oh my yo, bro, God. we could run the world. We could really run the world together. Yo, do you see the world from this perspective? I thought I was seeing the world from a different point of view. I thought I was a bird. Dead ass. When they said get high, I thought I was a bird. So I could definitely tell a story time about that. 3,000 likes, maybe. Eventually, you're gonna work up the courage to buy your own vape, whether it be at a vape shop or somebody selling it to you. Now, the very moment you get your hands on a vape, you immediately go straight to stage two. So now that you got your vape, you're chilling in your room and you decided to take a hit of your vape. In case if you've never vaped or smoked before, I'm gonna try to give you an explanation of what it feels like. So you take a puff on your vape, your head gets a little bit spinny and your body gets a little bit tingly. They last for about a good 10 seconds till you realize, oh, I want that feeling again. Oh, wow, a 10 second feeling. Oh, oh, it's heaven, dude. Oh, I gotta do it again. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gonna start sounding like that in a few years. So, look, I ain't gonna lie. The worst part about it is if you really sit at home all day, you know what I'm saying? This is where you get tempted the most. You have nothing to do besides your fucking homework. School is stressing you out. So you think this little 10 seconds is going to be the key to life. Ah, no, no, no. 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 And the bullshit cycle continues. So now that In my opinion, I think you're better off having a beating your meat addiction. Which one would you rather be addicted to? Beating your meat or, or, or. Oh, my 15 second mango feeling. I'd rather just be on the hub stroking my little two millimeter defeater. I ain't gonna lie. As a man who does it himself, tef I definitely vouch for people to do it. De defeat the two millimeter. You know what I'm saying? Just don't get caught. If you get caught beating... Which one would you rather get caught doing, though? That's the real question. Would you rather get caught beating the two millimeter defeater or get caught... Hitting the, hitting the puff ball. <clears throat> so now that you're casually filling your lungs up with aerosol every 10 minutes, yes, it's aerosol. It's honestly disgusting that some of these vape companies had us thinking it was water vapor. With all that said and done, you are now- What is aerosol? Stage three. Chasing You've been the buzz. Vaping for about a good two days now, and you notice as you hit your vape, you can't really get that same buzz as you used to. This will most likely lead you to hit your vape more, that way you can get that same buzz again. Hit During it less! Time, your vape will probably die. And you have two choices in the matter. Either you get another vape device, and continue on with the stages or you're already seeing the cycle and decide to quit vaping this is yo vape dies you spend another thirty dollars on another one i'm about to start selling vapes i'm about to start selling vapes i'm gonna throw a lysol bottle in the motherfucking package and i'm gonna just start finessing you dumbass little kids y'all ain't gonna beat my ass about it the stage that will decide if you have an addiction now assuming that you bought another vape you will now move on to stage four no more buzz. So in stage four, you hit your vape and you don't get a buzz anymore. Now, that's fine and all, but the problem occurs when you don't hit your vape for a little while. You get this slight but noticeable feeling that you want to hit your vape. You know what I realized? I was at CVS yesterday and I saw a white lady out there smoking a cigarette. You know what the white lady was doing? Chasing a buzz. So you know what I'm about to compare y'all to? Oh, you get it. You telling me y'all are y'all on task with homeless people. They chasing some beer, some crack. You know what I'm saying? They chasing some fat nah. And if you give in to that feeling, you jump straight to stage seven. But if you don't give in to that feeling, you move on to stage five. So as time goes on, I'm not addicted. The casual lie. You start thinking to yourself, damn, this shit kind of sucks. So you start thinking about trying to quit. You're like, eh, I can do that. My fuckers vaping class. And then they'd be like, bro, I can stop anytime I want to. All right, stop fast. Stop fast so you can have your voice in four years. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers vaping in 14 years old. By the time you're 20, by the time you my age, you're not even going to be able to jump around. You're going to be handicapped, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the biggest lie they'll say is, bro, I can stop anytime I want. And then they probably hitting their vape while watching this. I used to know people who used to vape in class, charge their vape on the school Chromebook. You char- you charging the shit? <laughs> Charge your vape on the school Chromebook is crazy. In the middle of class when the teacher's not looking, oh, let me get me a nice little buzz. You no different than the homeless nigga on the train who's smoking the crack rock. You gonna be biting your teeth like these in a few years, I swear to God. 
whenever. I'm not addicted. Even though at this point, you're starting to think about getting a job just to support your non-addiction. So let's just assume you say, fuck this. I'm not getting a job just to vape. And you try to quit. That leads me on to stage six. You can quit. For free help, visit cdc.gov slash tips. So let's assume you go two days without vaping. After two seven, days! World like record! Wow! Bro, I stopped vaping for two days, but I vaped 28 days in a row. I'm not vaping for two days, but I vaped 28 days in a row. Come on, bro. Every time you have a stressful or shitty day, you always think hey, about it. Oh, oh, I need my peach mango ice. You see somebody with a vape today? You know what? Fuck that! Fuck that! Fuck that! You see somebody with a vape, grab it from them. Get to hit him with they ass, bro. Just do it. Just get to hit him with they ass. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? Let's just see what they really about. You vaping motherfuckers, I know. Y'all got God power strength when it comes to that shit. Me too. Let's see. Let's see. You just gonna have to beat my ass. Now look, if I'm on the news or if I'm on World Star for getting my ass beat for taking someone's vape, so fucking be it. At least I did it for a good cause. I got no problem getting my ass whooped. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between me and y'all. When I get into a fight, y'all think I'm going to be swinging. Oh, headshot. No. No headshot. I'm kicking you in the balls. I am about to fight you like a female. I'm about to grab your hair. I'm about to bite you. I can go buy a pack of cigarettes and relieve that stress, or I can go buy a vape and relieve that stress. If you can fight that urge, you have successfully quit vaping or smoking. But unfortunately for a lot of us, myself included, you have to have a really good mentality to do that. Now, assuming you've tried quitting and you're back vaping again, like a lot of us end up, you're going to be moving on to stage seven. Stage seven, you're vaping more than you ever have before. And the problem with stage seven is you just don't care. You've tried quitting, you can't do it. You're just accepting the fact that you're addicted now. Now, once you start actually seeing some of the side effects, you might actually start trying to quit again. A stroke is crazy. A stroke is crazy. Yeah, 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 that's kind of, yeah, this, yeah, yeah. All you elf bar users, go ahead and get to doing it, man. Long term. Yeah, that's crazy. Imagine getting a stroke because your addiction to blue raspberry ice hit the gym. Weight loss? I do got a nice little belly on me though. Mouth and throat irritation? Hey, fucking yo. Mouth and throat irritation. Nah, my throat only get irritated after actually start trying to quit again but for a lot of us it just seems like a waste of time you spend a thousand maybe even two thousand dollars every year on something that you don't enjoy and something that you wish you never started and unfortunately that is the vicious cycle of nicotine addiction so i have a question y'all should we react to more videos like this leave a like if you don't vape leave a like if you do vape leave a like for the fact it's important to leave a like on your creators you like watching if you love your mama, leave a like. If you love your family, leave a like. Boy, if you don't get- Anywho, yo, this is crazy. The levels of nicotine addiction. What y'all want me to react to next, leave it in the comment section. I just wanted to see what this was all about and what better way to see what it's all about besides bringing my people with me. Shout out to the people with the like button on the last video. Let's, let's give them a shout out right here. One, two, three. These people are amazing. We must always give them credit. Shout out to you, man. I appreciate you. If you want a shout out at the end of any Dooley video, simple. Smash the like button. Follow my Instagram at Next, And leave a comment that you smashed the like button. Your comment will be at the end of these videos. I appreciate everybody who watched. If you're not in this video, you have a complete chance to be in the next one. So make sure you always leave that comment. I'm always reading it, dude. That's why I put you there. It's your boy Dooley. I'm finna go suck some schlabbernock and I'm gone.